Hi, my name is Dennis Jernigan. I'd like to tell you a little bit of my story. 31 years ago, I walked out of one identity and into another. You see, for a great deal of my life, I struggled with unwanted same-sex attraction, homosexuality. By the time I graduated college, I'd come to believe, firmly believe, that this was just the way I was born. So I embraced the gay life. But there was a problem. The problem for me was that in spite of embracing my identity as a homosexual, I just didn't want to be homosexual. I'd assume this was my true identity based on what everyone else was telling me, on the wisdom of man. Then one day it just dawned on me, rather than going to the wisdom of man to discover my true identity, it made maybe just a little more sense to seek out God's wisdom, to find out who He intended me to be all along. After all, think about this. Who was it that created me to begin with? I better be going to my Maker to find out who He says I am. So that's what I decided to do. You know what I discovered? I discovered a brand new identity. An identity as a new creation in Christ. An identity where my past failures no longer define me. An identity where my present circumstances no longer define me. An identity where even the things that tempt me do not define me anymore. And they certainly do not define how I think about myself. So much healing came in just a two year period that I was able to be married, something I'd given up on. Married to a woman, a woman to whom I've now been married 29 years. Together we have nine children. We have a happy, continuing, healing existence in Christ. I'm so glad I chose Christ. I'm so glad He chose me. When I was a teenager struggling with same-sex attraction, I used to long for someone just to show me a way out. Someone to tell me healing and hope were even possible, but that never seemed to happen for me until I was much older. But now that I am free, I want to do for others what I hoped someone would have done for me. And I've already been telling my story for years. But the world has a way of shutting such stories of hope in Christ out of the mainstream, where those of us who walk in freedom are labeled as bigots or buffoons or fools. I may be a fool, but if anything, I'm a fool for Christ. And I just want to tell my story to this culture, to this generation. They're only here in one side, y'all. I want them to hear both sides of the story. Healing is possible. Hope is possible. And you can help me do that. We're going to be filming a documentary of my life in the months to come just to get my story out there. And anything you can give toward that purpose just might help someone else be rescued just as I was. Think about this. I I hear stories all the time of young men and women who walk in freedom now. Just last night after one of my concerts, a young man approached me and told me he had heard my story when he was 16 and that my story and my encouragement had helped him walk out of unwanted same-sex attraction as well. Now he's 23. You know what he told me? He said, here's my wife. And then he showed me a picture of their 10-month-old son. And he went on to tell me had he not heard my story of deliverance, that he might not ever have known the joy and the healing of life he now gets to live every day. So please, help me get the story out there. There really are many more just like that young man who need to hear, just like I needed to hear so long ago. Thanks for your time. Give if you can.